Hey Sashin Kids, I am the presenter and this is Smashing Kid News! <laughs> Welcome to the Big Pot series. We are still here at the building today and enriching tomorrow. Right here today, we are going to be talking about the misconceptions and truths involved with manifesting and going to a new year with goals. And uh, yay! It's, it's, it's really a rough one right here. That's my good news. So, we talk about the truth and the misconceptions. So, a lot of people. When you're going to a new year, a lot of people think that you're going to a new year and you, just because you put pen to paper, suddenly it'll all come together, especially people who manifest. Manifest is where you tell yourself, is where you lie to yourself, let's say that. It's where you lie to yourself. It's where you say, me, I'm one or two or three, but you're not. It's where you say, me, I will hardworking, me, I'm a, a compassionate. No, that's a lie. You want to be a compassionate, but you write that on your, on your, like, your list. That is manifesting. So people think that just because you manifested, right, it means that you achieve your goals somewhere, somehow. Manifesting is a mental thing. Manifesting is you telling yourself that you are going to achieve something and therefore you will do every bit of work to make sure that you achieve that goal. That is the catch with manifesting. Manifesting is not just you writing goals and you like, you know, not like us who just write down goals and you want to achieve them. Manifesting is you say, I've reached this goal and it'll happen. It'll happen. Now it's just me putting in the work and this goal is going to happen. So really make sure that you, you know the difference between manifesting and your goal and goal setting because it's a really huge difference guys there's people who really work well with manifesting especially now because we're talking about the misconceptions because when we, we when you're manifesting a lot of people think because i'm manifesting maybe manifesting is not for you you manifest you think that you're gonna miraculously achieve all your goals no guys no goal setting is you you know setting those steps making sure that each step you know that you are going towards a specific goal also one of the misconceptions are uh, really really involved with goal setting is that once you've achieved the goal that's where it stops no guys not at all once you achieve the goal that's where the actual work starts let's say your goal was to be to get a certain average in a test once that once you get that certain average that means you have to continue now it's consistency as well there's consistency consistency sorry yay english levels there's consistency involved um in reaching that goal and even after reaching that goal consistency is key guys as in everything in your life, everything in our lives, we really need to work on your consistency so you're gonna help us really reach those goals. Some also misconceptions that are involved during the new year. Um a little bit of guilty of this is that if you say you wanna read more in the new year, <laughs> then you say on January 1, 2024, I'm going to read this book no guys it doesn't work like that we know that's not gonna happen we know that you're not literally gonna sit down like the whole of your life the whole of your 16 years 70 years 80 years you haven't been sitting down and really been you know reading so it means that what's gonna change on the first of january it means that a week before uh the first of january two weeks a month before december start reading start working on your goal start really just Going into the, your character, you know how uh, actors go into characterization. Start going into that you, that you, that's a better you, that is a, a capable you into a new year. Because, you know, 2024 is just uh, another number. You know, it, it's, it's a number. It doesn't mean that anything really is going to happen without you putting the work into it. There's a lot of truths and there's a lot of misconceptions as well involved in setting goals for a new year. But you know what? You can do it. As long as you put in the work for it, as long as you put in the hours the time the remember that there's time for everything as long as you make that time guys come on we can do this make sure that 2024 is the best year i want to hear your stories on 07 191 that is 07 191 tell me your stories tell me your goals and make sure that you're right here in the special kid news family we'll make sure that you reach those goals let us be let us be here for each other let's support each other don't be jealous of another person just really focus on yourself really let, let it just be you this year you reaching your goals and you 
really just focusing on you being the best possible version of yourself. Unfortunately, guys, it's been a great, great three part season. I was talking about the effects, the misconceptions, and how to reach your goals. Hopefully, now you know how to set your goals and you know how to go into a new year strong and capable. It has been amazing. I am your host, and unfortunately, that is all for me for the last of 2023. Bye.